you opened photoshop and sucked your stock footage there and you were like what the hell we gonna do now well in today's video i'm gonna show you one of the most important skills when it comes to photoshop for manipulation art which is three tricks that will make you able to color match different images and build your artwork so let's dive into it Matching the luminance is trick number one. To do that, we need to create a luminance check layer. Simply create a new black and white adjustment layer to remove the chrominance and leave only the luminance of the images. You might notice that the image of Jason is a bit darker than the background. Create levels or curves adjustment layer and make sure it's clipped to the image being adjusted. Move the shadows, midtones, and highlight sliders to match the luminance and that must be adjusted by the eye. And yeah, this is before and this is after. Now. Let's move to the second trick. The second trick is matching the saturation. To do that, we'll need a check layer again, but this time it will be a saturation check layer. Create a selective color adjustment layer and reduce the black to negative 100 for each color, but the whites, neutrals, and blacks. You'll have to set them at 100. You can save these settings as a preset. So, the white areas means how much the area is saturated, and the black areas means the opposite. Create a saturation adjustment layer and make sure it's clipped to the end image being adjusted. Here you can move the saturation sliders to adjust the overall saturation or you can use the selector hand for adjusting a certain area and of course you'll have to adjust this by eye. The final trick is matching colors. To do that you know what we will need. Create a solid color and set the saturation to O and the brightness to 50%. Then set the layer blending mode to luminosity and there you go, you have a color check layer. You can add a vibrance adjustment layer and increase the saturation to 100 for a clear vision. What you see here is color information. You can watch these three videos for a deep understanding of how colors work. You'll find the link in the description. Create a vibrance adjustment layer and make sure it's clipped to you know what I'm talking about. You can also use the curves adjustment layer, but I prefer this one. So we have a yellow cast in the background and Jason's image has a blue cast and the opposite of blue is yellow. So we have to add some yellows to shadows, midtones and highlights in the color balance adjustment layer until it perfectly matches the background. And yeah, this is before and this is after. You might be asking yourself, do I have to add these cheek layers whenever I do this? And should I match the character with the background or the opposite? Well, the most important thing is that you have to count on your eyes because you use them to match colors. And no, you don't need these cheek layers because they are just giving us information that our eyes can see. So you can train them to do that without these cheek layers. Second question depends on the tone you want to give to your image, but mostly you will have to match everything with the sky and if you are in a locked place such as a room you need to see the overall tone and that's it for the last time this is before and this is after but there is still something missing highlights the camera auto filter and some additional effects but that will be deeply covered in future videos so make sure you are subscribed and check this video you'll like it